Hey, well, welcome to Makerspace what? Urbana. Uh, I'm going to show you the workflow for downloading stuff and making it into an object. Um, so we've got our solid doodle 3D printer. Um, it's connected straight to our Ubuntu box here. And um, first thing we're going to show you is downloading an object off of Thingiverse. I hope you've heard of Thingiverse. If not, Google it and then you'll find it. And so we're going to start search for uh, our mascot, a squirrel. We are going to test how good I can spell squirrel. Um, close. Okay, so we find a good squirrel. We should get a better light for this. We hit download this. It brings you down here. You download the STL. Um, so if I just click on it, it'll download. I save it as a save. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Goes to my saved files. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna go to. Oh oh, workflow. First thing to do when you get get in here and you turn on this uh, power protector. This controls. Zoom out a little bit. Uh, this. Turns off the printer. If the light's off, it's off. Light switch turns it on. And then we go into Printer Face. It's the first program we open. It's the, the one with the tongue sticking out at you. And um, you preheat it, because it takes a little while to heat up, especially the bed. It's got to be at 95 degrees Celsius. It takes forever to heat up. So um, these buttons here, you hit just hit set, set, and it'll tell you what temperature it's at. So right now our hot end is at 50 degrees, our bed is at 93 degrees because we've been having it running. So that's that's what you do before anything else because you have to wait for that to heat up before you start a print. So you might as well get it heating up before, like as soon as you walk into place. So then we're gonna come back to that when we're ready to print. But we've got our file, we go to Cura to slice it. So we got our 3D model, we need to put it into slices so the printer knows what to do. So we open, that squirrel we downloaded, and I can type in, we got a lot of downloads in here. So I can type in squirrel, it says squirrel, we've downloaded it several times. Um, so this is the one from right now. It materializes, um, and in Cura, you can click on the object and rotate it, spin it around. Um, you can scale it, we're gonna make it a little bit smaller. Um, and then you can like mirror it, it doesn't really. Yeah. Well, that's near Z, so. So those are your options to like resize your object and stuff. Oh, and you could also like load the same thing, you know, you can load several files to print all together. Um, it's just another option. Squirrel 3. So we can do a, you know, a big one a little. So you can plate, it's called plating several objects. So you can load a few things, uh, move them around uh, on here, and it'll slice it. This is the progress bar for slicing. Um, you can leave all the settings where they are. We've got it set up to work just right. So all leave, leave, don't touch this. You know. <laughs> so just load the files. Oh, you can decide if you want support. Um, this one we don't need support. More complex files with overhangs might want support. And a platform adhesion type. I like to do rafts. Brims are useless. If you think it has a nice flat bottom, you might not have to use a raft. But it's always helpful to use a raft. So I say go for it. It has to slice it all over again, but once it hits that, oh, we're already over three minutes, oh man. Okay, print with USB. No, I just lied to you. It's okay. Go we'll, up here. We'll survive, we'll survive. Go up here uh, at the top of the menu. It only appears when you mouse over. Click on File, Ooh. Save G Code, and put it where, somewhere you can find it. Um, so, tutorial.gcode, save it. Um, and then we go back to that printer face program. And this is connected to the printer now, it's preheating it, we're almost up to temperature. So now we come up here to load file, we load the file, we find it, type in tutorial.gcode, open it, and it will show you, in a second, it'll show a preview, sometimes. Oh, 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 where is it? This is, okay, don't worry about it. Sometimes it doesn't load, just don't worry about it. <laughs> um, you can hit print at this point. So you load the file, it's that temperature, you can hit print. And it says, estimated duration, one hour, two minutes, print started. And now it waits to be at temperature. Oh, I hope this doesn't take very long because, okay, okay. And then it starts. Uh, we have some, some tweezers hanging out. It's always kind of helpful to grab that away. And it'll get to work. So that's what it looks like if it's working. Um, there are lots of ways it, that it can fail. Uh, I'm not going to talk about those. It would take an hour to talk about the ways it could fail. <laughs> but um, if we have it set up right, then then you can start a print and and it'll turn out fine. This has been pretty reliable. So so good luck.